dear students friends and all curious minds do you know everything has an cause and effect that's why the word because because means there is something definitely a cause and to know the cause of anything happening in our daily life physics helps a lot of so today let's do some activities and think over why it is happening i start with two piece of papers students do you think when i take these two piece of papers and i hold them parallel and if i blow air between them what will happen will they move apart or come together let's try let's watch you can see they are coming closer they are coming closer what is the cause i have a funnel this is a funnel and there is a tennis ball and i put it if i blow air from this mouth then will this ball rise up what do you say up or down let's check it is not moving up let's try it other way i take it in downward position like this and i blow air now will it fall easily if i will not blow then it will easily fall just like it is falling but if i blow air will it fall it it could not fall very surprising what is this this is the principle on which your aeroplane fly bernoulli theorem whenever speed increases pressure decreases and due to pressure difference there is a up thrust and this ball could not fall down there are many many phenomena in our daily life everything happening around us we have to watch why it is happening i take a candle and i light it up and you know oxygen is required for burning things okay if i put a water bottle over it you know this flame will extinguish will the time will differ if i do the experiment inside water i put this candle in water i will do that first i check it in air i have the timer also now i just starting okay it was started at 55 the flame is going slowly dimmer 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 and ultimately it will extinguish okay at 20 it means 25 seconds it took to extinguish do you think the entire oxygen has burnt no not at all but the supply was stopped okay i do the same experiment inside water i have this container and i have taken a colored solution to see easily the level of water rising up i again put this candle inside the water in vertical position now i will again light it up okay what will happen if i will put this i will put the same bottle over it again we will not the time also i will just start when it will be at 30 i will just start okay oh by mistake it due to this touch it got extinguished due to the touch of this wall of the bottle we do this and we repeat the experiment okay i start it oh again it is touching okay no problem experimentation is failure and then success okay we will repeat it to this time i will put it very consciously okay it means already there is hot the water bottle is hot and that's why it is not working let's retry i blow some air inside it and then 
I will put okay this time it is working and you can see the level of water is rising up but it got quickly extinguished very quickly in less time because there was less space left for it and water is still rising you can check it I can mark it out water has taken this level so we can do this experiment in different ways will the two candles at a time will there, there be any change in level of the water in the bottle okay uh, if I take a we I have a straw and I have cut it in such a way that I made it uh, a fountain you can see I will just rotate it I have bent it in two ways and made two holes by a small cut on either side and this used pencil or the ballpoint pen refill I have used it and fix it with this black tape and then I will just rotate it you will see what will happen you will just see yourself do you see water droplets are rising up they are got sprinkled like this yeah do you see water droplets I think you may see it water droplets are coming on my face also yeah this is the fountain due to rotation water has risen up the centrifugal force is acting here this is the this is working if I have a bottle and a thread is tied over the top and I will simply hang it just like what will happen do you think will it remain stationary like this I will just hold it up what will happen will it stay in equilibrium at rest what do you think no it has started rotating it has started rotating and the rotation is clockwise rotation is clockwise this way you can see this rotation is clockwise let's again try it may be anti-clockwise or not let's check whether it may be anti-clockwise or not let's check no again it is clockwise will it be fast will it rotate faster or remain at the same pace you can see yourself it is gaining speed it is gaining speed yeah yeah it is gaining speed will it remain in the same speeds continuously what do you think ultimately it will slow down do you think it will come back yes definitely what is the cause because due to rotation there is a torque due to the twist in the spring in the thread there is a torque acting on it and that will bring it back that will bring it back and its motion will be rotational simple harmonic motion now it has started rotating anti-clockwise it has started and gaining speed again did you notice it okay so why the starting is anti-clockwise and then anti-clockwise is there any effect of rotation of the earth we all are on the earth earth is rotating is there any effect think over it let's do the same experiment in with the help of some water is uh, i put some water inside it then let's check what will happen i have a bucket of water yeah and we will fill this bottle with water let's check will there be any change in its direction of motion Will it be clockwise, anti-clockwise or what will happen? Experiment is the best evidence. We can check it. I will just hold it in the same way. But now it, it has some more weight. So let's check. Initially, we remove all the twist and then there should be no torque. Yes, you can see it has started moving in the same direction. I have made a hole inside it to see the water is rushing out of the bottle. 
there is is there any effect of this water also is it helping in its rotation is it helping definite moment of inertia will change if angular momentum is constant moment of inertia decreases angular velocity increases but again due to the torque produced due to the twist in the string it will come to rest and again start rotating in clockwise anti clockwise now it is clockwise it is clockwise this way now it will come back just stop and it will start rotating back okay you can see it has started it has started rotating back now it is rotating anti clockwise so in the same way it will gain speed okay i have a very interesting fountain very my obedient fountain you can see i have this container plastic container i will fill it with water i will just fill it with water okay and i will put a lid this lid over it and then i will just hold it i will just hold it okay now it is filled with water this will act as my obedient fountain how there is science behind it you can see yes on off on off on off on off on so it is working as i ask it to work it is working get on the same way so this is my continuously it is working so what is the funda behind it have you seen the dripping system when a patient is given glucose how does it work is there any relation of that with this experiment just think over it you know how the sound is produced when we speak how the sound is produced let's try i have a straw and i simply cut it from the mouth in the v shape on the in the v shape just with the help of the scissor i have cut it in v shape make a cord just like we have our vocal cord in our throat i have made a cord of it at the mouth in this way this is the cord now we can produce sound with the help of this it is not working we have to made a little bit change in it you can see the sound is produced if i change the length of the straw will there be any change in the pitch of the sound now it was very louder high amplitude sound just like amitabh bachchan sound can we make it lata mangeshkar sound let's try now there was a change in the pitch of the sound very slightly change in the pitch of the sound due to the length of the straw change because air column length of the air column has changed so wavelength has changed 
that's why more notes of the sound are produced so with this keep on doing experiment keep on watching things and try to solve the reason what is the reason everywhere there is a cause and whenever there is a cause there is an effect every effect has a cause every cause has an effect thank you so